what we doing, everyone? My name is Michael Warden, and if you're new here, well, I gotta say, it's a pleasure to meet you. Now, for some of you, if you decided to follow along my video series of me playing Tekken, and you decided to watch the video about picking a character, and you're like, oh, okay, you pick a character after you watch my video, and you're like, okay. So, how do we go about learning this game? Well, one of the next steps that I feel like is that you should learn when it comes to playing this game is you should learn what's called frame data. Frame data in this game is how Tekken 8, or any fighting game for that matter, is built on. It's, it's basically the speed of how the game runs. It's the speed of all your moves and how, and, and, and how fast they move. And, it, and it's also how moves are recorded when they get blocked. Now, the the thing of it is, is I'm assuming that you probably have gotten a little terrified or a little overwhelmed when you heard frame data. Oh, you got to learn your frames. Like me, when I first heard about it, I got a little intimidated, a little intimidated, and very overwhelmed. And I'm like, oh, but in all actuality, it's really not that bad, and it's very simple. I hit. All right, I'm gonna shrink myself and show you what I mean by this. Okay, I'm going to shrink myself down. Whee! Okay. On hit is basically... Oop. On hit is basically when you're hit. Okay. At the end of the day, you don't want to get hit. But if you or your opponent... Like, say if you land a hit on your opponent... <clears throat> like I just did right now. <clears throat> and you see on the bottom... <clears throat> in the bottom section of that little box, which is right... Which is right here. Okay. Look, I hit plus eight. There's there's a there's a difference between being hit, which you're gonna learn very quickly, and and blocking, which is let me show you what I mean by that. Right? There's a there's a there's a distinct difference. And it's it's in my head it's simple. Right? When you get hit, don't don't try to press the button, but but like, like if anything, if someone gets frustrated and they want to try to, you know, and they want to try to, you know, press a button back on you and you press another button as as you landed a hit on someone, you're going to beat them. <clears throat> so, like, for instance, I'm going to do this. Show you guys real quickly. Right. Right. So so Fang here, he's going to do a jab, right? The jab when he hits. It's going to be plus eight. <clears throat> now, let's say if I get frustrated, right? Not that. We'll get to that here in a second, but. Uh, see? Oh I'm, oh, oh, I'm getting beat. Oh, I'm getting beat. Oh, I'm pissed, right? That hit is plus eight, and then I think I can. Excuse me, I can hit back. <clears throat> that that uppercut, that mid hitting move is a 14 frame mid, but you but you take eight frames away from it, which is because it's because I'm plus eight after my first move. <clears throat> so my my next mid that I'm gonna throw out there, <clears throat> it's gonna be 14 minus eight is seven? No. Oh, I don't know. But just do the math in your head. 14 times 8 is minus 8 is 6. Yeah, 6. I could be wrong. But you, you see what I mean. That mid is going to be a 6 frame mid because the plus 8 from getting hit and then the down for 1 is going to come out 6 frame faster because of the plus 8. That makes sense. So in other words, if you get hit, don't press any buttons. Now, there are some moves that on block that are what are considered safe on block. So like for instance, we'll, we'll do this move here. Okay. So see that right there? He's minus nine. So that means that he's considered safe on block. Any move that's minus nine, nine or less on block you're safe. And um, 
and that means I can't really punish anything. So like, watch. You're gonna see it. You're gonna see the set of words on the bottom of the of the of the box there. Here, let me take my little camera. I'll show you. It's like right here. Like, look at the top corner of my camera. It's like right there. You're you're gonna see the possible little, you know, little set of uh, wording pop up here. So, see, as you can tell, it's not punishable because it's minus nine. You know, see, so watch. See. He, he's safe. Minus nine or 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 less, I guess you could say, he, you're considered safe. Uh, let me do this move. Um, do it real quickly. Okay. So, let's say, right, the move he did is perfect. Okay. So, that move, he's minus 12. No, watch the little wording on the bottom. See the word punish that come up? See that? Oh, hold on. It was a little slow. So, what's happening is, he's when he does that whole string, he's minus 12. So, that means that after I block that minus 12 move, that means that I have 12, I got anything that's 12 frames or faster as a punish. And it doesn't get any more simpler than that. So once you learn your character's punishes, which you'll get to here in a little bit, try to figure out, okay, what's my character's 12 frame punisher? Figure that out. And then when you see this move, you can use that. So, yeah. So, I covered moves on hit and what they mean. I covered moves that are punishable on block. And I also covered moves that are safe on block and what it kind of means in a way. But also, when it comes to moves on block, also also remember, you as a player, if you do a move that's minus nine in that, in that ballpark, you pretty much lose your turn. I know, in a way, we don't really want to give our opponents a turn, but... It's kind of the, the general respectful rule of the game of fighting games. Also, there's also plus and block moves. So, so there's certain moves like this. I'm gonna make him do that, okay? And, and then just for the heck of it, let him do that move for exemplary exemplar reasons. So, make him not do that. So, with plus and block moves, you're, well, they're moves that you can throw out that make you plus and block. See? That move right there, that thing, he's plus six, right? Move over here. Move over here just a little bit so I'm not running into the wall. Okay? He's plus six, right? Now, watch what happens when I try to disrespect those plus six on block moves. See? It's the same thing, but I'm blocking it, and it kind of gives them that, like, that advantage on block. So, yeah. So, in my hindsight, <clears throat> when it comes to learning frames in this game to me it's really not that hard it's you once you once you once you like get a grip on it you'll start to understand and be like oh okay it's not bad it kind of helps <clears throat> categorize you know your character's moves it'll kind of help you out you know setting up a game plan and experimenting and think okay <clears throat> if i do this move here or if i do this move there you know what is it going to do and, and what can I get here or there? And that's really, you know, that's really, you know, um, arguable, you know, when, when we're talking like what's called like the wall game or anything like that or like a mix up and stuff like that. So that's kind of like frames in a nutshell. Um, yet again, if you guys have any questions or concerns or something that's confusing to you, I'm trying the best I can to make it simple and easy to understand and learn. But sometimes my brain just stops and just has a brain fart. 
which is pretty embarrassing <laughs> in a way. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed what you guys saw, um, give a like and subscribe. And uh, with that, I'm out of here. So, see ya. Post-production Mike here. So, real quickly, I know I just said, when, when you saw me do a parry with the, with the character that I was playing, and I know I said I was going to cover uh, the, the, the punishes with the character later in regards, you know, in, in this video. I, I know I didn't cover it in this video, but I was thinking about, like, in the future videos, thinking about covering that. So, uh, yeah, I didn't mean to be totally, uh, you know, misleading. So I do truly apologize about that. But uh, I hope you guys yet again enjoyed what you guys saw. Um, please, you know, like and subscribe. And uh, truly, with that, we are really out of here. So, see ya!